should be played at high, high volume, preferably in a residential area. in 2011. So guys, Jay Wright becoming the 13th coach with multiple NCAA championships. Max, I'll start with you. Is he the best coach in college hoops right now? Yep, he's number one. And listen, I don't say that lightly because I know Coach K. When you do what Coach K did, has done, you have a ton of equity. But right now, you heard Jay Will just say it. Haven't been an underdog in how long? They're favored all the time. They win two chips in three years. As I mentioned, in between, they lose by a single possession to a good team after a, after a win in the tournament. I mean, you know, in that same tournament, it was in the second round. And, and you look at the way they just won. Jay mentioned it again. It's not like they have the most talent, but they are the best coached team. He's a very good recruiter, obviously. They don't get the top guys, maybe get the next level down, but those guys stick around. And it's not just their level of talent, it's the kind of character on that team. Now, what do I mean by that? Do I know all these kids? No, of course not. But you can see the way they play, unselfishly. Make the extra pass, play defense, pick each other up. This is a very well-coached, well-developed team, and that is the real difference. Stephen A., you just acknowledged it. He's a special coach, and that therein lies the advantage in the, at Villanova. And we heard Coach Greenberg, Seth Max. Greenberg, say yesterday, and he's been saying it recently, for right. millennials, this okay. program is now a blue blood program, I'm, I'm, guys. You know, this you know, is a gold I got him. I got him. I got him. Max, 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 just... I'm I'm tempted to do it my damn self. Max, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself, Max Kelly. What's the matter with you? I like Jay Wright. I thought Jay Wright, Jay Wright is fantastic. I, I, I put him top three. Excuse I'm me. not putting him ahead of Coach K or Roy. What are you talking about? Jay Wright is phenomenal. He's fantastic. He deserves a lot of credit. But he's been a Villanova quite a long time. And he just won the first national title two years ago. And now, because of two of the last three, we're going to put him above Coach K and above Roy Williams? Oh, absolutely not. No. No. Go ahead, Jay. A career right Max. now. Max, 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 Max. Who's a better quarterback, Tom Brady or Eli Manning? Tom and how Brady. do you factor a better quarterback? Championship, chop championships, correct? How many does Tom Brady have? No, not just. Not just, no. No. Uh, but they're, they're a the major way. factor, correct? Of major course. factor, correct? Yeah. Major factor yes. for you. Right? How, right. how many does Eli have? Two. Two. Right? Okay, so we're talking about not one, not two, not three, not four, but five national championships for Coach K. Five national championships. By the way, we already came out with our top 20 for next year. I know it's a little bit crazy. They are number one, uh, Kansas number one, but they're top three. Again, they're the favorite. They're the odds, five to one favorite to win again next year. Now, I, I hear what you're saying. I would say that Jay Wright is top three. I mean, he, he, there are only two active coaches who have more championships in him right now, and that's Roy Williams and that's Coach K. But just three years ago, we, we were talking about Jay Wright being one of the best coaches to never win it. We were yep. killing him, killing him three years ago. Just three years ago. Now we're going to call him the greatest coach of all time? No, no, wait, today? wait, wait. Like stop, that's a, uh, stop right there. Just pump the brakes a little bit on that, Max. Just a little I'll, bit. I'll give you the analogy, okay? Jay, you, you brought up um, oh the Golden State Warriors. They played like they're the college version of the Warriors. Popovich is a greater coach than yep. Steve Kerr, right? But if Steve Kerr was doing what he's doing, but without all the talent, you know, he didn't have KD, he didn't have Steph, he just had a, a, a group of guys the next level down and was still Max, doing what, what the Warriors were doing. The I'd say he's a what, better coach at the moment than Popovich. What are you talking about without all the talent, though, Max? What are you talking about all the talent? They, they have two guys that are going to go top 20 of the NBA draft. They have talent. Right, but it's not like He's just skilled to develop them the, the correct way. They have talent. Yeah, it's but more, I mean, okay, that so goes to the guys, coach. Guy in the top five, two, Marvin Bagley. Two guys, they have Marvin Bagley and Wendell Carter, but I mean, those guys... They're, they're not guards. Guards take guard. It takes guards to win championships. Then go get guards. I mean, you know, it's on the coach. The coach is the recruiter. Oh, they the, got in some college the basketball. Year. I hear you. In college basketball, coaching is 365. You got to go find the kids. Go find the right kids to fit the system. The right character guys. Hopefully, guys that'll stick around. Then you got to develop them, coach them up. Jay Wright deserves credit for all that. I'm not talking about Hall of Fame resume. I'm not comparing them to Roy Williams or certainly Coach Kent saying right now. That's
Coach the best coach in the game? False. Coach mm -hmm. K, Roy William, J. Wright. I'm going to brush you, Max. Bless oh, you. you just got blessed. Wow. Bless Jay, spicy on a little sleep. I like it. Appreciate you joining us. He all right. He getting ready to go to the uh, uh, undisclosed tropical location. No, it's yeah. probably not tropical. He's probably going to Europe. He'll be you know in the Mossy so well. Coast say, or something heard, like that. You know me right. so well, yes. Bring the heat yes. and then bounce. We yeah, love right. it. All right. I'm a college coach. You know, I sometimes amaze me. I don't have a great feel for him. What, how they make the decisions on drafting. Um, I probably would make a horrible GM. Um, so I don't know. I, I, but, you know, we'll find out. We'll definitely look into it. And then I just love, I just have the best job in the country. You know, I'm in my hometown, my wife's alma mater, my favorite team growing up. And um, I got a great president, great AD, Father Peter and Mark Jackson. I just love going to work every day, you know, and our guys graduate. They're, you see these kids are great kids to coach. As a coach, what, there's just nothing better. The future couldn't be much brighter for a Villanova program that just set the record for the most wins by any team over a four-year span in D1 history. The last four seasons also happened to be the winningest in Villanova's men's basketball history, led by Jay Wright. Now, back to first take. It's a good time to be in <coughs> Philly Villanova with their second natty in three years, winning every game and route to the title by double-digit figures, including last night. DiVincenzo, now clearly a household name. Seth Greenberg already was. Seth, good morning. <laughs> good morning. How's everyone doing? We're lovely. Are you today or what? Coach. <laughs> I'm ready, Coach. What's going on, man? Taxi. He's always ready. Life Seth. is good. That's what we saw a Villanova team that was... After the first seven minutes, they were absolutely bound. But that was Villanova no. basketball. It was Eric Pascal the game before. DiVincenzo earlier in the tournament had 18 points in the first half. You know what you're going to get out of Omari Spellman and Jalen Brunson. This team is complete. They've got great trust. And let's be honest, of all the guys that played in that tournament yesterday, 70% of those guys have been on campus three years. Mm -hmm. Those shared experiences that the Villanova kids have, it means something. Because when they face adversity, they just get to the next play. They get the next stop. The next guy steps up. And to me, that was really the difference of what Villanova's historic run was all about. Yep, and Jay Wright showing us you don't need one and done, obviously, to win a championship. But guys